minutes, we are going to look at the control room, the only one we have available today because, uh, because of shifts. Here we have three shifts. It's a morning shift running on and there's only one person responsible for the shift. Different computers. These computers show the plant, plant efficiency, flow, velocity, every single thing. So it's a one-man job. This is quite exciting and astonishing. Because one-man job, one person only, is responsible to control these all computers, all screens. Man who is responsible, here he is, here he is. Okay, welcome Peter. Yes, nice. Yes, this is the control room of the water work here. And uh, my colleague, Mr. Bote, is uh, working today here in the morning shift. He's the chief of the work, of the water work now. And here is uh, what he can do. Well, what you can see is over here, all the stuff we have. Um, we have the dam, the reservoir, we have here the water coming from the turbine yeah. at Oka through a tunnel, 7.6 kilometers, coming to the reservoir here, to the Grane. Then we have on the other side, Innerste, this is the, um, the dam, the next valley over there. And we have a pumping station because we have to get over a peak of 100 meters high. And also coming here, collected here in the reservoir. The Grand River itself won't fill this uh, big reservoir. It, I think it would last 30 or 40 years to fill it with the Grand water. But um, it's the, the best place, it was the best place to build a dam like this. Um, from here, we have the pumping station. And as I told you a few minutes ago, um, at the starting in uh, the 1970s, it was in the night when we did the pumping up to the daily reservoir. And from there, it goes by gravity all through the waterwork and down to our customers. Well, here we have the, the electricity. And then we have two waterworks. Uh, well, they are built like a mirror. And, uh, the function is the, the same, uh, naturally. We have at first the, um, the tank for the chemistry. Well, all we do is uh, what, uh, in the water work, all the treatment, is something we uh, took from nature. All process we do here is something what's happening in nature also. Well, maybe not the disinfection, yes. <laughs> but everything, unless this, uh, is nature. Here, quite quicker, faster, and uh, more with more effectiveness. Well, we try to. Okay, so at first we have uh, this tank for the, um, for the flocculant. We give a flocculant uh, in the water, it's aluminium sulfate. And aluminium sulfate uh, gets at the special pH value of, uh, pH value of 6.4, um, the aluminium comes out as small flocks and these small flocks they collect all the um, the stuff inside the, the particles in the water from the fishes and uh, also the sand and uh, maybe wood and small parts and this is collected and then with a special uh, flocculant these small flocks are collected to a bigger one which is better for the filtration and this stuff always also then uh, gets in the filter here, in the first 10 filters on the one side and in the water work number two, uh, exactly the same. And um, by going through the layer of sand, 1.8 meters, it's like this, um, it, uh, all, the, all the flocks will be um, yes, connected and uh, this will stay in this filter. And after that we have a clear water um, it's without any particles, but we have some iron inside. It's solved, solved iron and solved manganese, and you can smell it and you can taste it. So nobody would like to drink it. It's not dangerous. Even um, manganese is very important for uh, human beings. 
for our brain, for example, we need manganese, but very, very small, um, and less amount than we have in the water here. So the second filtration step here underneath is for getting out the iron and the manganese of this water in this water. And we do it like this. Um, here we have a tank and we give a lime water to, um, to have a other, another uh, pH value. The pH is at that point we have to have is uh, 9.0. And that's because at that pH value, the, the manganese and the iron comes out and um, will remain on the grain of the sand, the filter there. And it's called the auto, uh, um, autocatalytic demanganization. This is the, the, chemist, uh, the, 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 the term in chemistry. Um, and after that, we have a clear water. It's not drinking water. We can't call it drinking water because uh, in Germany, it, by law, you have to give a disinfection in a water which you take from the surface. A, uh, water taken from the surface and treated has to have as last step of treatment the disinfection. So it's quite a little bit, but you need to because of something maybe remained um, and uh, nobody uh, should get ill because of that. So we have a disinfection here, and then we have the tank uh, of uh, drinking water in the cellar, and there the um, <coughs> disinfection is chlorine gas. It, uh, well, it's, um, there's the, the, how is it called in English? Um, well, it has a wirkung. It, there's the effect of, of the disinfection, yes, the effect of the chlorine gas is uh, in, this, in this part. Well, okay. Underneath here we have all the chemistry. For example, we have the activated carbon. Activated carbon is needed in case of uh, algae uh, in the surface water. Um, well, every five, six, seven years we have uh, more algae than normal. And then we have to give the activated carbon um, to get these algae out of the water. Then we have the, sulfur the sulfuric acid. No, the sulfuric acid somewhere over there. So over there. This is uh, aluminium sulfate for the flocculant. And this is a helping flocculant. And here we have the chlorine gas. Here we have the lime water and the sulfuric acid. Well, and over here we have, um, after backwashing, the treatment of the backwashing water. Because you can't give the backwashing water direct to the, to the river. Um, and so there's a sedimentation of the um, solid parts, and on the surface we have the clear water. It's the quality of the rana itself, and we give it to Kwan River. And the solid parts, we have a special treatment, so we dry it to a, a, a grain of uh, four or six millimeters and give it to a brick factory. Yes, and over here we have all the controlling units and measurement, um, which we need, which we have to do by law at uh, several parts of the treatment. We have to um, measure some parameters. Well, okay, this is the, the function of the water working. And all um, my colleague has to do, he can do it um, via these um, terminals. In former days, he has to go out and open something and close something different and uh, all that stuff. But today, it's all automatic. And even the backwashing is uh, automatic and he just, to have, uh, just have to control whether the steps are in order. And so it's not so much hard work, work anymore, but uh, very um, carefully has to watch after all the processes here. Okay, and he has and he has the chance to have a look at the um, for example here at the ochre. Here we have the uh, the turbine of ochre, 
and he, as I told you, as we stood at the pond over there, he can start running off the turbine and he can stop it here from here. Everything remote control and uh, this wire um, cable. And here we have the, the quality. Um, at several parts of the treatment, we have to measure the quality of the water, for example, pH or the turbidity or um, yes, all the other stuffs. Well, there are several, as you can see. Um, and all this uh, is in a special um, network, network. So our colleagues from the central laboratory, the two um, um, stocks, uh, the two um, stocks like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, above, they can uh, also have a look at this. Okay. So, some questions? You know this tank, blue tank? The blue tank? Yeah, yeah. this is a cross section, yeah? Kind of. This is the, uh, the drinking water. Okay, why, would, why do, we, do you have these walls like, you know? Ah, okay, the walls. Walls are, at yes. the bottom is, you know, yes. we don't it's have walls. like it's really, uh, okay. the walls are like this, so uh, we fill it on the one side of the tank and it goes through okay, zigzag, the tank yeah. and we're getting out, uh, the outlet is on the other side. And that means there's a, there's, there should be a flow and no dead area where the water can stay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So okay. you fill it here and you take it here directly. So here's a dead area and here's a dead area. Hmm. And the water would get old. Old, like yeah. That. So it has meandrian. To go. We call it in German, it's called meandrian. Oh, yeah. I think in English it's called zigzag or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Somebody knows? Zigzag. Yeah, zigzag. Zigzagging. Zig yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Quite easy, yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's just a symbol. Just a simple, okay. Uh, to show. Yes. Okay. Some different questions here. No. Then next uh, step would be here uh, in that walkway with the pictures. Okay. Here we have the picture. Well, you would. You would. You can recognize them. Yes. Yes. Okay. We stood. We went here. Well, and we did our walk here and through there and so on. Yes, this is Oka, and um, here you can see the, the, the spillway, and here we have the bottom outlet. Yes, well, okay. Now the next one is uh, Gose. Well, I'll show you a, a picture. There's a, there's a small river between the Oka Valley and the Kran Valley, and it's called Gose. And we have the chance to uh, get the Gose water through this tunnel, um, also to the Grana. Here we have Enaste, this is on the other side, and we have a, um, a pumping station here. And this pumping station, it, there's a, um, um, a pipe from here over this peak down to the next um, valley, to the Grana. Here is the pumping station. Well, these are really big pumps. As you can see here and here with two cubic meters per second. This is really heavy and uh, nearly 100 meters. Well, this is Grana, as you can recognize. And here we have the catchment area. Well, this, this picture would be better. So this... Um, Inside the red line is the area where water, rain, can be collected in our um, reservoirs. Here we have the ochre with these very sharp uh, mountains. Um, and here the tunnel through the first hill. Here is the power plant. And then there starts this 7.6 kilometer tunnel going through here, these mountains, to the Grana. And then we have, uh, I think this is here, should be here. There is the um, Gose. That means, no, let's see. Is that the right one? Or is it here? Um, the small river Gose also can 
we can give the water from Gose down to this tunnel also to uh, the Grana. And here you can see how much. Well, the incoming water at the Oka is 776 million cubic meters each year. Um, it's um, normal, it's the middle of uh, I don't know how many years, 50 years maybe. Um, 55 million cubic meters we give down the Oka and 18 million cubic meters we give to the Grana. Then we have the Innerste with 12 million per year. And as you can see here, uh, altogether we have 46 million cubic meters of drinking water. A question? Sure. Okay. So this is um, something about the high water. Um, these are two years, well, it's a little bit longer ago, but it's also, uh, could be last year, but uh, um, we have the, the incoming water in, in blue. These peaks are high waters. And as you can see, it's very much 25 cubic meters per second coming in. And the green one is that uh, we give down the Oka River. And it was only well, about seven cubic meters. So we catched all the high waters. And here you can see the level of the Oka. So that means um, we're collecting the high water. <laughs>